there guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a good old little Zara haul for you today. I've been holding off on ordering from Zara because as much as I've been loving the new spring bits in, let's be honest, over here in the UK, spring just isn't springing. And I hate to be that boring person that just talks about the weather, but what are you gonna do, eh? I don't wanna be buying spring stuff when I'm not gonna get to wear it. But I am actually going on holiday. In fact, this time next week, I'll actually be just getting off the plane. So I did wanna have a little look on Zara because I needed a little bit of a refresh in terms of holiday bits. Now, don't get me wrong, I got a couple of holiday bits, but I'd say 99% of what I got is very much just springtime appropriate for the UK. So I thought I'd do a little haul for you. I actually haven't gone through my entire order. So you're actually getting a bit of a first impressions from me, but when I do try these pieces on after I film this, I will put any like additional comments on the screen if I feel like there's anything you guys need to know in terms of the fit um, or anything like that. But anyway, guys, let's jump straight into this video. I really hope you enjoy my first spring zara haul of 2023 okay i'm not going to do this in any particular order i'm just going to dive straight in what was on the top of the box this i decided to get this beautiful khaki bomber jacket now i know they've just recently after i ordered this they actually bought out um, another khaki bomber jacket in the style of the navy blue one they had originally and I did like it, however, the reason I went for this one is I just, I really love the colour on there. I feel like it looks a little bit more, a little bit more formal and less casual. And I think I've got the casual vibe with my dark blue bomber jacket. So with this one, I did want it to give a little bit of a different feel um, rather than just replicate the same jacket in multiple colours. So this is the jacket. I feel like it will give such a nice spring feel to so many outfits. I love the colour khaki as well. I feel like it is quite flattering against my skin tone. I really love how like blonde hair looks against khaki. I just really love the colour. But I got it in a UK size small. It has got shoulder pads in it as well. I really like that structure that it gives. Um, looking at the size, this looks great. I didn't want this to be oversized because it is a bomber jacket. I like them to be a little bit more on the fitted side on me personally. But yeah, I love that. I think it's lovely. I think I'll end up keeping it. I think I'll like it on. So yeah, I'd say that one was a success. Next up, I went for this strapless, like a bando um, top, but it's in a cotton, like a shirt material. And it's got a zip at the back as well. And I just think this is lovely i think this will be so nice to wear with so many outfits when the weather gets warmer obviously i love these for layering underneath blazers as well i just think they look really really nice and i like how it's different being made out of this like cotton shirt material i feel like it will look really great with a good pair of tailored trousers as well just for a little bit more of a formal look but obviously it will look just as nice thrown on with some jeans as well but i just thought this was so so lovely can't see me sending this back the sizing looks okay i stayed true to size and got a size small and it was 25.99 if anything i'd say it looks quite roomy at the top although actually once it's around your back it's probably fine um, we'll see how this goes. I'm not blessed in the breast department. <laughs> I don't have the biggest boobage, but hopefully it, this will stay up. We'll see. We'll see. I'll pop a comment on screen if it's okay in that area, because obviously that is a bit of a tricky one when it comes to strapless tops, isn't it? You know, we're all different shapes and sizes. So I'm hoping that'll be okay. It does look like it's got a kind of fitted look about it. Can you see how it kind of nips in at the waist there? I think this will look really nice on. I hope it does anyway, because I love it looking at it like this. Okay, next up, I picked up a couple of these dresses. Now, any of you eagle-eyed or regular viewers might have seen this dress before on this channel. It's really, really basic. It's basically a really basic, stretchy black dress. Um, it's got these spaghetti straps. The fabric is stretchy. It was only 12 99 size small. But I have had this before and I had it this time last year and basically guys, I got so much wear out of this little black dress. I didn't wear it as, um, you know, as a little black dress with heels or, you know, to go out with. I literally wore it underneath so many outfits. I love wearing these in the summer, um, well, spring, summer 
with a pair of sandals, big oversized shirt just thrown over the top. I'll try and find a clip of like last summer of me wearing it. I've honestly wore it so many times, so many outfits. Thrown on underneath blazers. It just makes such a good base layer and it's so affordable that yeah, I loved it. However, one thing I will say, it is only $12.99, so you know, you get what you pay for. I got an awful lot of wear out of this, but what I did find was where the strap meets the material here, it actually ended up breaking. Um, I did actually manage to sew it back on, you know, got a bit more wear out of it, but it is hanging on a little bit, I will say. So do you know what? I thought I'm actually just going to buy another one. It's $12.99. And I, because of how much wear I got out of it last year, oh, it's justified to me. The cost per wear would have been almost nothing for me. So yeah, I decided to get it again. And then this time I realised that I actually bought them out in different colours this year. So as well as the black, I decided to pick up this neutral um, like cream colour because I feel like with more neutral beige, brown, camel looks, this will look really nice. I think a big oversized white shirt thrown on with this with some little like nude sandals or brown sandals will look lovely. I just like, it's not as um, like harsh as black and I think again because of how much I wore that I think I'll end up wearing this one a lot as well. And I also think it's a great thing to chuck in your case to go on holiday, you know, it's a very simple thing to wear and style up. Um, again, size small, same price. Yeah, just a good couple of basics. Next up, and I decided to get myself this oversized blue long line shirt. I love the vibrant colour of blue on this. It almost reminds me of my blue denim shirt and I just love the colour. You can see the one I'm wearing now, it's a little bit more um, pale, but it is a long lined shirt. So it obviously is quite long. The one that I'm wearing currently is um, short. I thought this would be really nice um, one to throw on over the dress that I've just shown you, but also wearing it open and just layering it over a little crop top with some nice jeans with some nice trousers. I just think you can't go wrong with some really good shirts um, in the springtime. So yeah, I saw this and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to go for it. Um, I stayed true to size and got a size small because it is already classed as being oversized on the website. Um, it was $49.99. However, it does feel good quality. It feels um, quite thick, especially at the shoulders here. So, and the stitching on it is fine. I always watch with Zara. Sometimes I'll get a shirt or something from there and the stitching isn't great. And it's, you know, you'll see threads coming off and, you know, you do have to watch. I know they're, you know, affordable the majority of the time, but sometimes that does come at a cost when it comes to quality. However, I will say this seems very well made. As I said, the stitching looks great. Yeah. No complaints from me. Okay, next up, I decided to get this. This is very much something that I was thinking of throwing in the case and taking with me on holiday. It's this strapless black satin, um, like midi dress. I got it in my usual size, size small, and it was $45.99. I just think throwing on something like this with a simple pair of um, like barely there heels, nice little shoulder bag. You know, you can throw a blazer on it on there if you want to, but um, I just feel like it's a really just simple, easy piece to wear. However, looking at it now like this it does seem a little bit shapeless and I'm not sure this is gonna be the most flattering on me. I feel like this might look a bit like a bag and you know, it might just hang there and do nothing for me, which I don't know, it might, <laughs> It might, you know, completely um, do the opposite. I might put it on and I might love it. However, I'm not loving how it looks just out of the box. I feel like it's going to sit, just not sit right on me. But obviously you'll see on the cutaway, I'll pop on the screen um, if the fit is good or, you yeah, know, not the best. It might be going back, but yeah, I'm not hopeful about this one. Okay, while we're on the subject of black dresses, I also got this one. And again, this is something you could take on your holiday. It's like a midi length knit, um, just very plain black dress, like a daytime dress. And again, you could throw this in your case for on holiday, wearing it in the daytime. I think this would look lovely with just some tan sandals and a tan bag, maybe a nice beachy fedora hat. But also I think just for styling when you're in the UK, these are great basic dresses just to have, just to throw on. It looks super comfortable. It is um, like a fine, not fine, it is like a knit material. So I don't know if you can see, you can see slightly through it a little bit. 
Can you see that? And again, looking at it like this, I'm not sure how it's going to fit. This might be something that I return. Um, I got it in my usual size, size small, and it was $25.99. It's the feel of it and the look of it, it's not as good as I was hoping for. It's not quite what I had in mind, but it might surprise me when I put it on, so we'll see. Okay, another shirt, and I couldn't resist this. I've seen a couple of people actually um, buy this on TikTok, and I love how they've styled it up. So I decided to get this cropped white shirt. Big trend for this year is the utility trend. So you're going to be seeing lots of sort of like oversized big pockets on things like you do on like cargo trousers. And I really did like the added detail of the big pockets here. I just feel like it adds a little bit of interest to an otherwise, you know, boring item. It's just a white shirt. I actually had in mind, I thought I'd style this up with my maxi skirt that I've got. And I think anything cropped looks great with a maxi skirt. But yeah, I really like the cropped shirt kind of vibe. So yeah, I'm not mad about this at all. It seems really good looking at it here. Got my usual size, size small, and it was $25.99. I feel like this is gonna be a staple for over spring. It's gonna look so nice. Also think it would look great with some like tailored trousers. Oh, some tailored trousers and the khaki bomber jacket. That would be a vibe. You could even wear the button done up and have some big gold chunky hoops like this. Oh. That would be nice. I love like mentally putting outfits together as I'm unboxing. So I just get so much inspiration like for myself. I love it. Okay, next up. Oh, I know what these are. I was very excited about these. I am praying these look okay on because on the website, I fell in love. I just thought they were gorgeous. So it's this pair of beige tailored trousers, but the quality of these feels lovely. They've got a pleat. Um, sort of going down the middle of them, which I think gives them that more expensive kind of vibe. I think belted with a cropped shirt or even just a regular shirt, these will look superb. I also love the top of the waistband. It's almost got like a double waistband and I just feel like these little added details just make the trousers look more expensive than they are. Um, they were £49.99. So, and you can tell, you can tell these aren't your average run-of-the-mill trousers from Zara, which are usually about 25, 30 quid. They've got that bit of extra something. They're more weighty. The waistband feels very secure, very sturdy. And just the look of them, I think these look great. Um, honestly, I hope these look as good as I am like envisioning them. Oh, let's hope so. The length of them looks great. I am um, five foot eight for reference. So, and usually with Zara trousers, they a lot of them do come up long, um, which I know not everyone loves. I do love because I like my trousers to literally be dragging on the floor. So these look like a really good length. So yeah, fingers crossed, I think these will be great. All right, guys, while we're on the subject of trousers, I did pick up a couple pair of jeans from Zara because I have basically been loving the Palazzo ultra wide. I love ultra wide trousers anyway. On my body type in particular, I'm very long legged. Legged? Very long legged. Legged? Legged? I've got long legs <laughs> and a short body. I love wearing really wide leg trousers and then like a tighter fitting top. I just feel like it suits my body type. So I had seen on Zara that I actually got a couple of like jean style trousers. So I did buy two pairs, not because I'm going to keep both of them. I am, um, I did get two with, you know, to send one back. I just wasn't sure between the two which ones I was going to prefer. So I'll show you this pair first. This is the slightly darker pair that I went for. Um, very classic like blue jean colour. But if I try and show you the bottom of my leg, I mean, I'm not going to be able to show you here, am I? Best off just looking at the cutaway but they are extremely wide legged. I'm really hoping they'll be long enough and literally drag on the floor because that is the kind of style that I want them to be. These are only $35.99 and they've got like no you know, special detail going down. They're just very plain jeans, but I think they'll make a proper statement. I'm gonna see what these look like, but the other pair I also picked up were a lighter wash of jean and they also have, if I remember, I think these, yeah, these have like a couple of rips going down them and they also have 
more of like a distressed hem at the bottom. So I'm gonna see between the two which ones I prefer. Um, these ones were the same price, also $35.99. I've got my normal size, UK size 8 in both of them. So we're gonna see. Um, Lengthwise, they both look pretty like the same. I really hope I prefer one to the other and don't want to keep both. I really like both. I think they're different colours, so I think they'll serve different purposes if I was to keep, but can be trying to convince myself. No, hopefully one will scream out to me when I when I try them on. I also just picked up this really simple little strapless bandeau top. Super simple, it's got no zip, it's stretchy, size small, it was only $7.99, so cheap, but just a really great base layer when it comes to spring summer. Great for popping on um, underneath blazers, bomber jackets, open like shirts with trousers, jeans. I just thought it was a great, just basic top to have. So there we go. Okay, right, we're moving on to the second box here. There's only a couple of items in here, don't worry. But something I did pick up for my holiday. Oh, dogs are barking, someone's here. Hold on. And I'm back. Anyway, I did pick up this set. Um, I thought. I had in mind to wear this for one of the evenings on holiday, but I also think this would be great just for an evening look for in the UK as well. So first of all, this pair of green like linen trousers, which just look gorgeous. Now I am slightly concerned about the length. I've just got a feeling these might be a couple of inches too short. Although actually now I'm looking at them, maybe not, maybe not actually, it might be all right. Size small, they were 45.99. Um, they feel lovely and I love the colour green, but um, they're the trousers and I also got this top, well, the matching top. So I just love this. This is really giving me proper like 90s, like almost Spice Girl kind of vibes. So it's obviously like a waistcoat kind of design made out the same material out of a linen, almost like an alternate top. Then look at the back, completely backless with just these little dainty couple of straps here. How gorgeous will that be? Wearing that with the trousers when it's a lovely warm day. I just think as a set, it's gorgeous. Um, the top to this was $25.99. Um, again, size small. Yeah, I just feel like, why am I like so tempted to put it on? Again, green is another color that for me personally, I feel like it suits my skin tone. Looks nice with like my hair color. Yeah, I am still in a slight chokehold over the color green. I know it was huge like a year ago. But I just think this was so, so lovely and a bit different to wearing like a neutral, like white or like beige set. I'm really glad they did this in this gorgeous colour. And then final item, guys. I did pick up another pair of trousers, um, but this time in a white linen because um, I actually don't own a pair of white linen trousers. And I feel like that is criminal going on holiday or going into the spring, summer because I do get so much wear out of them. Anyway, the ones I had last year, they've ended up like shrinking a little bit and they just don't look great. Well, they don't fit great and I know I just won't want to reach for them. Um, so I decided to get this pair off Zara and these look gorgeous. Um, they were, how much were they? $35.99. The length looks great. I just think you can't beat this. I also love how white linen trousers look with a white linen shirt and you know sort of wearing them as a set i think that's just such a vibe in the spring summer time and i love it these will definitely be coming in my case with me on holiday because just so easy to wear aren't they especially like during the daytime throw on a nice little top oversized shirt sunglasses and you're well away aren't you i love those really happy with them anyway guys that brings me to the end of this video I am so happy. I'm so impressed with that haul. Honestly, I'm really pleased with the majority of the stuff that I picked up. But let me know what you think. Let me know what your favourite pieces are. Um, let me know what other bits you've got your eye on Zara because I know they're doing very well at the minute. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. I'm really conscious. I don't want it to be too long. I don't want to babble on for too long. So I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.